Hey, good afternoon guys. Ron here with Precision Sales doing a walk around of a beautiful new mainsail. And this is for a Ranger 33 uh, made out of a uh, Challenge Warp Drive 8.11. And uh, this beautiful sail uh, is a local boat here. Does uh, quite a bit of club racing, that kind of stuff uh, on his Ranger. And we have uh, kind of pipped this one out for doing some really good uh, long distance cruising and some nice quick racing. So let's take a, a walk around of it here. Uh, we've added, uh, there's four partial battens, three reef points, because we do get uh, some window here. And we've done the reinforcement package um, for this gentleman as well. So let's take a quick little walk around this beautiful sail made at a warp drive. There's a couple of things that I want to kind of point out. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit different than some of the other stuff that we do. So let's start down here in the clue corner. And we'll just take a quick look. Again, 33 foot boat. So let's take a look at the slug that we've got in here. The construction of that clue corner with the leather wrap around the, uh, the clue. We have included a Velcro strap for this gentleman. Uh, he does like to sail uh, fairly aggressively. And this will ensure that we take some of the stress off the, uh, the end of the boom there. And <clears throat> we've got some radial corners coming up out of that corner. They do match quite nicely to the uh, radial design of, the, of this Dacron. But notice our radial corners, not only do we have the radial patches coming out, but they come to the block patches. The reason we do that, those radial corners, um, they're cut with, uh, with a hot knife uh, or a laser, and uh, they can be kind of sharp. So that's why we like to leave those block patches underneath so that uh, that doesn't cause any damage to the, the main part of the sail. And so let's take a quick walk up this uh, leech so that we can look at some of these reef points. And here's the first reef point and there's three of them here. Notice that that leech line has a cleat and it'll have a cleat at every one of the reef points. And we'll just pan across here and take a look at this reinforced reef belt and I'll just focus in here quickly on the way that we've done this, uh, these reef points. Lots of times, most often we use grommets uh, that unfortunately puts a hole in the material. This is a much uh, simpler way, uh, more effective way, doesn't degrade the uh, integrity of the cloth at all. And there you go. That's, uh, that's how we're doing those ones on this sail. We'll continue kind of walking up. I love uh, some of the design aspects here with the double draft uh, lines. Coming to reef point number two. Again, exactly the same as reef point number one and exactly the same as that clue corner. Um, and the reef reinforcements along there, exactly the same. So it's really well done. And then reef point number three coming up here. And you'll notice just as we come past it, there is a belt that's coming up just past the numbers here. And that's a leech belt. There's another one on the other side called a luff belt. And that's part of the offshore reinforcement package. Uh, really helps move those forces up the sail and get them dissipating across the sail and not just kind of putting extra layers on. So we'll, uh, we'll just focus in here quickly and show you part of the reinforcement package. Uh, double draft stripes uh, is just a cosmetic thing, but the double tapes you can see them quite well with the green behind them there, the two rows of stitching. That's actually two layers of tape on that sail. And then all of the broad seams have triple stitching. Okay. So that's what we've done there. And we'll just continue on up here till we reach the head. And really nice, good size. Head plate there, webbed on, that's an alloy plate. And then we'll just take a quick look at some of these sliders here. And uh, this gentleman has a, an external slide on his mast. And we'll just kind of turn that so you can get a good look at it. Stainless steel sliders on this guy. Uh, you can use the stainless steel on, on these external mast uh, grooves. They don't cause the same damage as the internal ones. We use them in both, but we use them a little bit um, limited on, on the internal mast. So, just uh, walk it down here and we'll focus in again on those sliders, the way they're webbed on. 
the way they're reinforced, and then we've got the vinyl underneath there to make sure that there's no chafing or any damage done. And here's where the beginning of that luff belt is, and that'll continue all the way down to the bottom, the foot of the sail. So we'll just keep walking on down here so you can get a good idea of the quality of this construction. This is uh, going to be one bulletproof sail. Love the, uh, the warp drive. For any of you guys that are out there doing club racing and cruising and all that stuff, this is one of the most versatile sailcloths I think we offer to, uh, to that group of sailors. And we'll just quickly focus in here on the tack. And uh, we've got the foot line ends here in the tack so that you can put good tension on that up at the mast. We've got the Cunningham there, and again, those reinforced corners. So there you go, guys. Uh, we'll just pan up one last time, and you can take a look at this unbelievable sail for Ranger 33, made out of Challenge sailcloth. It's their warp drive, 8.11. If you're interested in this type of cloth, give us a call, shoot us an email. We'll, uh, we'll get you a price on it. Uh, just an amazing sail.